all that glitters is not that gold goes the same and still still people get attracted to the flies once bitten twice shy but still they're looking at the lamp the flies get attracted and then it gets consumed by the fire the 14th story from the zen flesh zen bones written by rips Paul Rips, Muddy Road. Tanzan and Ikido were once traveling together down a muddy road. A heavy rain was still falling. <coughs> heavy rain and the muddy road means the problems. That was the real meditation. But something went wrong with the Indian yogis. They said to meditate, you must go to. a silent place but they never taught them that they have to be silent they have to make the mind silent they have not to get attracted to all the glitters is not that gold once bitten twice shy they said and instead they said himalaya go to the himalayas and meditate and you will see brahman you see god and everybody who had a fight with them wives left homes to become a sanyasi to become a yogi rushed up to the himalayas no that is where they went wrong no 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 leaders no rishis no munis no swamis ever said go to the himalaya means go to the himalayan problems go to the center of the market and work as a karma yogi you find in the tiredness you find Nyana and Diana. Here you can see they were traveling together down a muddy. That is the master and the student, Yin and the Yang, husband and the wife. They walk through the muddy street, means through the problems. Heavy rain was still falling, and they didn't bother. Heavy rain and the muddy water. Yes, it doesn't bother them. These are how the problems are. Not only the muddy road. but then the rains also will start cheating you and you do not get frightened you face it the more the they say the stones are thrown only at fruits that bear the stones are thrown at trees which bear fruits so the heavy rain is the because you heavy problems stones coming here, heavy rain In, uh, is is a is is a inter interpretation of the stones being thrown at you on right is already you are in the muddy road and heavy rain is coming yes coming around a bend they met a lovely girl in a silk kimono and sash unable to cross the intersection yes that is a time when you are in trouble you see another one beautiful object or uh, rich you don't divide them between rich and the poor here they they said a beautiful girl because the men gets attracted on the name girl because throughout their life they have been suppressed especially the priests have been suppressed the girls are bad don't go near the girls etc etc the more you say they ugly the bad men get attracted opposite things attracts always coming around the bend bend always the bend you have to correct the bend our pipelines are all bent so sometimes you have to straighten it up hence in the yoga exercise they ask you to do the tatasan the mountain poses always stretching the body to make it straight when the pipelines are bent you can you, you can know all the plumber says water doesn't go out so it is been blocked so cleansing is very important coming around the bend they met a lovely girl in a silk kimono and says unable to cross it so when when they when it's a bend whether it is lovely or ugly they cannot go and why the lovely and ugly they couldn't move because they were not conscious here you were conscious because you have been able to walk in the muddy road in the in the problems of your society and uh, the stones have been thrown that is heavy rain and we need all that problem still you see somebody is in trouble you don't go talk about your trouble because you have become very very strong to take that much of punishment yes we thought karma yoga is keep doing work that expecting results come on girl said tanson at once tanson is a 
Young one, the disciple, lifting her in his arms, he carried her over to the over the mud. Ekido did not speak again until that night when they reached a the lodging temple. Then he no longer could restrain himself. We monks don't go near females, he told Tansen, especially not young and lovely ones. It is dangerous. Why did you do that? So the younger monk, he found there is a problem. Gold that glitters is not the gold. He finds something was glittering. He got attracted. He rushed up. He bought a kebab. He ate a kebab. He got a Chinese noodle. He ate a Chinese noodle. He bought his shoes. All the glittering. All the, the beautiful girl. He lifted it up. After eating, he brushed his teeth. He came out. After ch checking those things, he gave it back to them. And then he came. But the elder monk, the senior monk, he couldn't restrain anymore. When they reached their lodging temple, then he no longer could restrain himself. We monks don't go near females, means don't go near all the glitters, it's not the gold. We don't go to the materialistic world of the film theaters, we don't go to the hotels, we don't buy unnecessary clothes. The clothes, what is given is all our clothes, no other jeans and t shirt shorts. How could you go and touch that jeans and t shirt? How did you go and buy that ice cream? Not only ice cream you bought it, you also ate it. That was the cunning thing. We monks don't go near females. We are not supposed to go and talk to another one, religious people. We are not supposed to go to another caste. But that was not meditation. This and that never came. Then why you are calling yourself this religion and that religion? Why are you calling upper caste and lower caste? Rich and the poor. That was what they meant it but people kept on talking about a girl and the girl they brought the girl because you get attracted to that word of a girl because throughout your time the monks have been taught don't go near girls don't go near girls don't go near girls ugly so they created a system like people are forced to go to the Himalayas so they don't say anything and then they became homosexuals there also it does not stop them the main thing is to find out whether in this trouble inside your family with the husband and wife, inside the family, family, whether in, with all that muddy road, all the troubles, with all the rain, stones have been thrown at trees with bad trees, with all the, all the glitters and not the gold, yes, once bitten twice, all that is there, but you refuse to move because you know your strength of connecting your strength to the joint family and to the family tree. The only the joint family and family tree will never think that those castes in this religion, they'll be easily sharing because they have enough, enough, because they've worked enough. God has given you enough. In that enough, if you don't work, you don't take the last drop of your talent from your body. And you fall sick. You don't feel energetic. Energy will not be bubbling. It never, never shoots like the jet pipe. Yes, it drips. When you have the energy, it shoots like a jet pipe. Otherwise, it drips. Your energy drips. Your sexual power drips. Your love drips. It is dangerous. Why do you do that? I left the girl there, said Tansen. Are you still caring? He said, I already hate it. I left it there. Why are you still caring? It is just, an, uh, just a feeling of getting uh, attracted. It is a problem in the society. I found that it is a, uh, neither this caste or that caste. Who are we to find out this and that? A girl is in trouble. A problem is in the society. I went to the society. Even though it is in the scriptures, scriptures must have written for us to practice. But after that, the scriptures to be kept aside. And then we have to go according to service. You be the change for the change you ask for. Every time you be the change for the change you ask for. Even if you are not asked for also, go according to circumstances, even though scriptures are there. And then you, the scriptures, if you have studied the scriptures very well, then you have excess energy. Yes. Then you don't find that you have to carry the scriptures to do any work. But because always you're rooted. Come on, girl.